I'm Philosophical. This is my channel. I'm just going to do a bunch of mini messages on this one. The first one is ETM and it's Eric the Midget. <clears throat> Somebody named Eric who sits on the curb and swings his legs. Wee! Wee! Uh, tell me about Eric the Midget. What's up with Eric the Midget? I'm sorry, is the Divine Feminine? Or there's something here about a Divine Feminine, a wife? Uh, oh boy, did something happen with someone's child that they're with? Lauren. Um, hmm? Are there in, oh. So first off, I see somebody's in a relationship with someone way too young. It, there could be a weird thing where somebody's actually, I, I hope somebody doesn't have this person living in their house with their kid. They could have some kind of weird um, attraction for someone's child. Okay, Monica. All right. And I think whoever the female is, she's a divine feminine. Yeah, true. And uh, I don't know. For who is this for? The female? You could be just be having a hard time finding someone that's worthy. You know? Um, yeah, I just feel like you're constantly disappointed in relationships. You know, like I'm always taking a hit with this shit. Don't settle. Yeah, don't, don't settle. Yeah, because you're destined for it to be with someone else. Who? And then I'm gonna I'm gonna go to another um check their coat. I don't know. The coat. Uh alright. So Alright. This is who this person is destined to be with. It's not it's not with this other person. Alright, um This is like a Michael Jensen or Michael Jenkins or something like that. Alright. M C and J E. That is your counterpart. That is the person that you're gonna the vibe with the most so you can get rid of we who actually uh wanted to get i feel like they've gotten to a, i don't know if you have a do you have a daughter or something like that i they could have gotten into a really and i'm not saying they didn't get in a relationship with you because you're not a great woman all right uh, clearly you are but there's something here about your child that they're attracted to all right so let's clear that and get another message <clears throat> all right all right let's see child and nature what's the bottom advocate all right this this could be somebody that actually stands up for kids tell me about this yeah oh boy oh this is death though i mean if you're not a scorpio hold on let me get some more tell, tell me what's his death here okay God damn it. Okay. Are, are you a Scorpio? Is there, is there a death of a child here? Something about noon? Was somebody going to... Tell me, tell me about what's up with this child, please. Tell me the child. Something is supposed to happen at noon with someone's child. Ted Freeman, Teresa Terrence Freeman, T E and F M. Threshold um, at noon. I don't know, but just remember that. All right, tell me about this. Okay, F for an op financial opportunity. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Look, if there's not a child that's missing, okay, or, or gone or something like that, this is what somebody is planning on doing with someone's child. Okay, this could be somebody who acts like they're an advocate for children. This could be a coach. I feel something like that. 
Okay, I don't know if something's supposed to, if you're supposed to take your child somewhere at noon. Something is supposed to be happening at noon. All right. Don't let that, don't let your kid go. What's up with, oh my God, no, don't say that. What's up with, with decomposing? Okay. It's not the child, all right. But somebody is. Tell me who's Sam? Williams? They're 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 deep there's uh tell me about this, please. Did somebody I, I have to Somebody showed a picture of somebody, right? Is a message, right? Oh, I'm sorry. This is your kid. They could have said that your your the, the kid drank lean or or something, and I feel like this is a complete lie. Okay, it's a complete lie. Yeah. All right, this is a bullshit lie. Where's this kid at? Like, oh, I'm so sorry. God, how do you do this to people? How do you do it? Okay, where's the kid? Tell me where this kid's at. That's Hawthorne to me. All right. Yep, Hawthorne. 99 Hawthorne or 98 or something like that Hawthorne. 99. 97. 97 Hawthorne. All right, I'm going to clear that. <clears throat> Whoever was behind this. And lying to this father or this mother about their child and even showing pictures and saying like, oh, sorry, they've been missing. This sounds like another trafficking attempt. All right, clear that. Let's get another one. Look how different you handle problems now, right? All right, so I'm guessing somebody was a hothead, okay? Getting angry gets you nowhere. I mean, I feel like healthy anger is good. Otherwise, if you don't get that shit out in a healthy way, it just festers and just builds up. And then you wind up punching somebody in the throat because they sneeze. You know what I mean? Needs to get off mommy's nipple. I mean, this could have been you. You could have been codependent. Damn it. You know what I mean? We all were. I mean, shit, I was too. Codependent on my parents for a while. Tell me about this. Look how differently you handle problems now. Damn it. Okay? This is a... Uh, you could be a fire sign female or like this is somebody respected in the community. All right. Tell me about this. Divine feminine. Look at you though. God damn it. You're showing up everywhere. Okay. You, uh, your confidence, courage, you know, I, I feel like this, um, Oh, look, somebody had a karmic mother, too. You could have been mirroring this mother, right? When I'm around you and you nitpick me and you poke me, whether you're, you could be a man, too, and just had a mom that liked to nitpick you. So you pop off and shit. You know, you became a short fuse, God damn it, right? Because my mother was a short fuse or a stepmother or something like that. It's a female that was that's very conniving and, and just sneaky and shit. Like, yeah, this is a karmic, no doubt. All right, somebody has, um, that's why I could need to get off mommy's nipple, right? Because you got feel like you're an older man, right? Feel like you you independent now. Even even if this, let's just say this, I don't I don't need you to do this stuff for me now. It's like baby steps and shit. Doesn't matter how old you are. We're all codependent on somebody at some point. Even our parents were probably codependent on grandparents to help them out with shit. And then they'll sit there and point fingers and tell you that you're codependent or when are you going to get your shit together? And it's like, do you have your shit together? So somebody's becoming more independent and it gives you a sense of like confidence and self-esteem mm -hmm. yeah right uh, I mean I, you could be you could be stuck with housing right now but I feel like this if you hold on let's find out you stuck with housing you're divine masculine I feel like okay uh, tell me about this what was that okay Somebody have pins and needles in their feet or something? Somebody's circulation need to listen to 50 hertz for circulation. I'm getting pins and needles. Five. 
become so numb. Because now my foot's getting numb, and this person looks like they're hanging by a foot. They're tied by the foot. Is somebody's left foot getting pins and needles? Circulation, move around. Um, so that's what it was. Tired of being what you want me to be. Right? You don't want to be what your mom or your dad or even a wife or something. This could be like just sister, aunt. You know, I don't want to be, I want to be who I am. You don't like who I am. Deuces. Right? You don't have to be around me. God damn it. You could be eating healthier or just wanting to live like a healthier life than you were. It's a, it's uh it's not a race. Someone's saying, right? Let's see. Uh, two of cups. Okay. Uh, what's this? There could be two of you, or you just, you kind of feel like, I feel like that you're single. For somebody, you're single. I think you want a relationship, but you're waiting around for the right person, someone that's on the same path, or you're being told to, right? In order to stay on this path of being independent and getting off, um, you're not needing your mom for a certain shit. Um, this is going to actually help you in relationships because while you were dependent on this mom and I, I don't know if she liked you that way because it feels like she liked you that way I don't know what was up with your dad did you replace him or something like, you know what I mean like I kind of felt like I was being the man of the house and it's keeping me from having healthy relationships I almost feel like I'm in a relationship with my mother for Christ's sake but that that's a great thing though because while you were still at home or whatever or in and out back at home getting in trouble da 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 with, and then going back to mom, that had a, a, a big effect on the relationships that you had because then you became codependent also on the women that you were in. Or if you're a woman, it's the same thing with the men. Like if this is a father, because I see mother and father here. So it's going to just be for, this is unisex. Where now it's like, I'd rather just have less and not have to worry about asking so-and-so for shit. It feels good, you know, it's like a sense of, I don't need, it's not that I don't need you, because, you know, you tell them this, or, you know, it'd be kind of thing where they say to you every day, when are you gonna get up and do this? I wish you would just do this, like, be careful what you wish for. Right now, I'm gone. And now it's like, well, I miss when you used to fix this, or you used to help me bring the bags in, and then you're just your company, I miss talking to you, I miss your company, and, yeah, I don't know if you want a child. For somebody, it's like you, you want a child and everything. Or Oh, uh, that's amazing. That's what this is. You want someone that's on the right path, right? I just want to, you don't have to be, like, let's say you, you stop in smoking, right? You, they don't have to stop smoking. They just have to agree and, and accept the fact that you did, or you have to accept the fact that you did, right? Someone that's kind of on the right path. I'm not taking, like, immature fucking shit that's going to slow me down i'd rather wait until i find somebody that's going to be <clears throat> like long-standing solid relationship i think some of your friends are going to fall by the wayside as well because i think that because you're walking away from a certain lifestyle is what it feels like um they're going to talk shit just ex just expect that that they're going to talk shit on you because you're probably doing something that they can't do right now. That's all. It's not that they can't do it, but you're just at different different places in life, William. You're different places in life, right? All right. My love. Um, okay. Did this mom treat you like a child? Like she wanted you to be a child and needing. You know how you know what that does to somebody? I'll tell you because it happened to me. It makes you want to put your hands around your mom's neck <laughs> because it's impossible to please this type of female. Or if this is a dad for someone, you could be a dad with a daughter, put outfits, but it's someone who likes to have that control. It, it feels like Peter Pan syndrome. If anybody knows what that is, look it up. It's when the mom or dad or whatever, it usually happens with moms and sons though. They don't really want their son to grow up because they're codependent on you. They're really codependent on you. And they don't realize that neither do you until you separate yourself. And it's like now she's calling you or texting you like, well, son, this broke. Or can you pick me up and take me here? Or, you know, oh, this one. Just Even if it's just to, to babble in your ear about shit that she's gone through. Spike the punch. <clears throat> Maybe you're walking away from this. There could have been a situation where somebody's mom had them 
putting shit in people's drinks. This is what made you pop off like that. It's her. Tell me about Spike the Punch. Yeah, look, you're done with that. And she pissed. I do feel like a mom had used her son to do fucked up shit, man. Yeah, yeah I feel like you didn't like it. You didn't like doing it, you know what I mean? It's like, it's easier for me to just work together with her because, I mean, if I don't, boom, boom, power moment, right? Like, this this loving part of her uh, gets blocked, <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> and then there comes this other side. Somebody could be an Aquarius or a Scorpio. But this is what she does for either find an, an opportunity or drugs or money or house, housing for somebody I heard, like housing. Even at some point, I feel like this mom is stuck now because you're choosing a different lifestyle. So what is this now? Tell me more. Is she afraid? Now she's got to do it herself. Whatever the, whatever you did, she's got to do it herself or she got to find somebody else. Rescue her. Now who's rescuing who though? Huh? Tell me, is she stalking you? Your family? Rescue her? The family? Is that what she plays? I feel like you are, though. Because cause I don't know if you're an earth sign. You could be a younger earth sign. But, because that came out twice, earth. But this is somebody where it's like the man of the house, but too young. The role that this person played wasn't the role. They're, 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 there's no childhood here. You know? exorcist so you exercise in demons and shit i feel like you're helping other people with this oh look at you you are <clears throat> you're gonna help so many people with this because you understand exactly what this is now i feel like a level of understanding and clarity that's like all right so i'm not looking at this i'm that's why you're not angry Right? I'm not angry because I see what I got out of this. Somebody learned lessons. They took accountability. I mean, damn. This is some shit that it feels adult. <clears throat> yeah, fuck what they think. Hmm? Fuck what they think. I just, I don't think you care. Right? Let's talk about it. Tell me about fuck what they think. Because you faced your own demons. I feel like you have allowed yourself to say, I did this, I did that. Right, I shouldn't have done it, but shit, everybody makes mistakes. And I think that if it was up to this mother, she would have you feeling horrible about yourself. I hope that she didn't have you do shit and then throw it in your fucking face, okay? Because it feels like that type of female where if you don't do it, she'll throw, or it's even like threatening, you know what I mean? Like I'll tell people you did this, or I hope that this mom didn't, doesn't have some kind of evidence of some shit or she's saying that she did something bad will happen tell me about this fuck what they think yeah look at this someone is mad as shit that you actually you have a destiny okay and you turn you started turning this wheel in your favor by doing this yeah like yeah i'm free look philly fanatic i feel like you are fanatical right i'm excited about my the rest of my life damn it i went from being this constantly let down put down disappointed because i think that she always disappointed you like did she ever come through for you this is this can you do this for me oh my god can you do this for me look, look I'll, i swear to god i'll do this and then it's like look you could first off you could live all by yourself and still make a better life than this mother but this is, do this for me. Oh, please, I swear. And then it's like, you ask for this. Oh, uh, can you pick me up from here? Oh my God, I don't know if I can. And it's, yeah. Mm -mm. Moving on. Because mm -hmm. it's too late, baby, now it's too late. Something inside has died. I can't hide, I just can't. Yeah, this, this, this need to feel like you're a servant to this woman or dude, whoever this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh my God, this is so amazing. Cause I feel like somebody's still young enough to have that inner child. Cause I, they were suppressed in you. Cause, Cause somebody had to be the man at too young of an age. And it's not supposed to be like that. 
Now I feel like someone's funny and they don't take life seriously and they're happy and they joke around and they act foolish, but it's good for and it's and it's because this is how you're supposed to be. Yeah, this is justice. Hmm? Good. You may want it. This may be how you are now. Like I, I want, I want to stand for justice. I feel like somebody wants. They want justice, right? This is either family or this mom or whatever. Hmm? You've seen an increase at just great things in your life since you separated from this woman or this person. Tell me about this justice. Tell me about this. Oh, you get married. This is what you're destined for. To get married. To be happy. To be secure. Have a sense of security. I don't feel like you felt secure. Like I, I'm always worried. Right? Every You were stretched thin. Oh. You like until you use me up, yeah. This is happiness, contentment, freaking. I feel like you're you could you're grateful for a part. Look at this with the lovers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> somebody that you could be in proximity to somebody that you are destined to be with and marry. Or this is going to happen because you're, you've are you been consistent with this shit, man. I don't know if you've been tested. You could have gotten like uh, phone calls or text messages or something. And you were like, I can't. I can't do it. Uh, you're going to get rewarded for this shit. This person is going to help you stay away from this mom. Because I feel like there's a part of you where you still feel some kind of, it's this weird obligation. You know? Because she's very good at making you feel guilty about shit. Or even, I swear, threatening uh, Michelle Peters or McKenna, McKenna or Michaela or something like that. I can hear the truth. This is somebody that if, if you, let me, let's talk about her. Uh, Peterson or something like that. Let's talk about. Talk about her. Oh, is your mom jealous of this one? I feel like there's a lot of people jealous of this one. All right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is, I don't know how well, if you're in a relationship with this person or, or whatever, but this is going to cause problems. And I feel like you just don't care. Okay. You don't care. Yo, you want to talk. Look at this shit. Okay. <laughs> you and this person being together. Okay. Uh, yo, the jealousy that's going to happen. Just prepare for that shit. Tell me. Tell me more. What is this? Oh, that's loyalty. This is this person you can rely on. Was this a friend of yours? Yes. This a, you're going to have a whole new life with this person. This is a reliable dick, too. Okay? So, somebody's... <laughs> That's my, I'm just saying this is loyalty and reliability and this is my penis card this is somebody who doesn't cheat both of them don't cheat okay yeah you're gonna work real good together alright tell me more this is great fucking love this yeah because you know what i'm telling do you guys want i feel like you're both like detecting like you like figuring shit out right the two of you may actually wind up doing something like this or this is like something you're both interested in i love the detective shows and this and figuring out who did it and la -di -a -di -a. i feel like you guys have so much in common so this is going to be um i can already feel it that this is going to be a problem I don't think it's the community. I don't think so. I think you're really liked in the community. Dad backs. What is up with your dad? Oh. I can hear the truth. 
Does your dad have your back? No. Okay. This is amazing. I mean, I know that don't sound amazing, but this is the thing. You're going to have a child, at least one child, okay? You're going to have the ability to be the father you didn't have growing up. You and this person, I don't know if you have that in common. You could have a lot in common when it comes to parents asking you to do stupid shit or bad shit and then throwing it in your faces. You attracted each other. But you're both going to wind up being the person that you needed when you, you guys were kids. Whenever that is. Legit hated a family member. Look at this shit. I feel like you both can't stand your family. And this, you can relate to each other. You're, this, oh my god, look at this. This is sacred. <laughs> look at it. Oh my god. I fucking love this. I'm so tired of giving negative messages. You know, it drains the shit out of me. You're going to have a lot to talk about. So there's going to be such a mutual respect with you guys. Oh my God. I'm so, I'm like getting emotional because this is, this is the universe going. I understand that you need some kind of woman, feminine, because you didn't really have that, you know? And so now, boom, the universe, this is, this is a gift. You're a gift to each other. You guys are going to have this love, love bubble life because you must both be special, divine beings, if not chosen ones, star seeds, earth angels. Hmm? This is an opportunity brought to you by your ancestors. And they're going to be real jealous of it. And you're going to have to protect this shit. Okay? I think you're going to be private. You could just be private, both be private people anyway. Hmm. What is, oh my God. Protect this relationship. You're going to defend it too. I think both of you are like that. Where you'll defend each other and stand up for each other. I told you, you manifested each other. Look at this shit. Ha ha, 2727 27 on the thing. By, by saying what you don't like and you do like, like let's just say you had chicks coming up and, and, and trying to hook up with you. Right, Kathy and Method. I don't know. And then, um, and so your your body language, where it's like, no, nah, I'm sorry, I don't feel like you're rude, you know. But you know what you want and you don't want, and I think this person does too. Trial and error. <laughs> and so, by you guys doing this stuff, you both brought each other in. Look at this shit. This is like head over heels, happy, and then you're gonna wind up taking this chance at what? This this life. Hmm. Tell me about this. This is like the fool's journey, though. This is gratitude, happiness. You guys could both be have been dealing with some kind of addiction as well. Getting over that. This could have been pills or something. Yeah. Yo, do you guys both want to work in the judicial system or something? It feels like you both like, uh, okay, rebellion, but it's a good rebellion. You could have been those rebellious kids, but it's because of the parents that you had. You're going to turn that other rebellion into healthy rebellion. This is great. You both have a method to your madness. Hmm? Queen of Swords and Judgment. Somebody wants to be a judge or a detective or something like this. Because I feel like you, you guys see that the world needs it. This is Destin. Speaker as well. You both can speak judgment into existence. This is part of your destiny. Okay, This is a spiritual connection. You guys are going to work together. I think it's government. For some it could be politics. Hold on. This is marriage as well. I'm telling you, you're gonna, this is going to be, it's going to be effortless. <laughs> but just know that there's going to be people who are going to lie and try to, to stop this and sabotage this. So 
what do you do? All right, these are good. These are people who are in toxic relationships and have still have addictions. If you're dealing with that from your people from your past, a people that you've either dated, you know what I mean, or just friends and stuff, or there, there's going to be some guys that left this chick out in the cold now. She's going to get all kinds of fucking attention, and now they're going to want to come back and, and shit like that. You know, these are guys that, that juggled her in the past. Possibly these are even guys that possibly were juggling her while they were married and stuff. And then turn, and then they could have said, I'm going to leave my wife. And, and it just feels like, okay, I got it, right? Like, I, I went through all of this, but it wasn't in vain. Hmm? You're both awakened, it feels like. Constantly feeling rejected by men. But it's not because she's not good. I feel like they're intimidated or they were just the wrong type, right? Because she's an actual blessing, though, to this world. You both are. A lot of jealousy. This is legacy. Okay. This is generational wealth, gifted. I think both of you have all the Claire's. All right, intuitively, you're gonna know when you meet each other that this is it. You're just gonna feel it. It's gonna be a physical feeling, a feeling like chills or your hair standing up or just smiling a lot. <laughs> I think that you you realize that um, there's a lot of people that you guys knew, whether it's family or friends, that are still asleep. So they're not gonna. You can't talk to them. I don't think you either one of you can have conversations with a lot of people in your life about the stuff that you're learning about the world and just your past, your childhood. It's, I don't feel like people can relate to what you've been through. So it feels like it's falling on deaf ears. So this is the universe's way of saying we appreciate you for changing, for passing the tests. And so here's a gift from us wrapped in a bow. We're not going nowhere. This is amazing. Love you, Philly out.